The autonomic nervous system involuntarily modifies the activity of smooth muscles, exocrine glands, cardiac tissue, and certain metabolic activities. The autonomic nervous system consists of sympathetic and parasympathetic divisions. Activation of the sympathetic system produces the fight or flight reaction in response to threatening situations. In this reaction, cardiovascular stimulation provides muscles with oxygen and fuels required to support vigorous physical activity, while activation of glycogenolysis and lipolysis releases the necessary energy substrates. The parasympathetic system is sometimes called the rest and digest system because it slows the heart rate and promotes more vegetative functions such as digestion defecation and micturition. The sympathetic nervous system consists of thoracic and lumbar nerves with short preganglionic and long postganglionic fibers. The sympathetic system includes the adrenal medulla, which releases norepinephrine and epinephrine into the blood. The norepinephrine is principal neurotransmitters of sympathetic postganglionic fiber. Almost every step in the synthesis, storage, release, reuptake, metabolism, and action of dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine can be usefully modulated by pharmacological agents especially for the treatment of hypertension and mental disorders like anxiety, depression and Parkinsonism. Today we will study synthesis, storage, release, reuptake, metabolism, and action of norepinephrine Ni. The first step of synthesis of norepinephrine is transportation of amino acid tyrosine into the noradrenergic nerve terminal by a sodium-dependent carrier. Tyrosine transported into the nerve is converted to dopa by enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase. Dopamine is then synthesized from dopa by action of an enzyme dopa decarboxylase. The further conversion takes place in vesicles. So the dopamine is transported into the vesicle by the vesicular monoamine transporter, VMAT. The conversion of dopamine to norepinephrine is take place in the storage vesicle by enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase. The vesicle filled with norepinephrine release the norepinephrine when an action potential opens voltage sensitive calcium channels and increases intracellular calcium. The vesicle storing norepinephrine fuses with the surface membrane of nerve terminal and releases the norepinephrine. After release, norepinephrine binds to its receptors that are located postsynaptic that is beta-1, beta-2, beta-3 and alpha-1 and presynaptic alpha-2 receptor. The presynaptic alpha-2 receptor is act as an autoreceptor and produce feedback inhibition of release of norepinephrine. Some norepinephrine is transported back to the cytoplasm of the varicosities by the norepinephrine transporter, NET. This process is called as reuptake. Norepinephrine also diffuse out of the cleft and metabolized by monoamine oxidase MAO and catechol O methyltransferase, COMT. Now we will see how different drugs interfere the synthesis and release of norepinephrine. The rate limiting step, conversion of tyrosine to dopa, can be inhibited by meterosin. Meterosin been used in the treatment of pheochromocytoma. However, it is now rarely used in medicine. Its primary use being in scientific research to investigate the effects of catecholamine depletion on behavior. Transportation of dopamine and norepinephrine into the vesicle by the vesicular monoamine transporter, VMAT, can be blocked by resipine. Rezepine is an antihypertensive drug, however, it is also not used due to adverse effect on CNS. Fusion of vesicles with the surface membrane and norepinephrine release can be blocked by drugs such as guanathidine and bretolium. These drugs are also kept in category of antihypertensive drugs. 
Reuptake a transport of norepinephrine back to varicosities by norepinephrine transporter net can be blocked by cocaine and antidepressants drugs. In the next video we shall discuss about receptor-wise pharmacological actions of norepinephrine and epinephrine. Like, share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.